Anytime that you are walking in the streets of Long Beach, California, always be aware of the TRG. We're going to go back to October 29th of 2019. We're somewhere here in Long Beach and two guys are having lunch. One 21-year-old Jeremy Penn and his friend Tim Ngoy. So they're just wrapping it up, talking about whatever. And Tim asks Jeremy, hey, there's going to be a party tonight over on East 7th Street. Do you want to attend? Jeremy tells his buddy, no, because there's a guy that he knows is going to show up to the party. His name is Daniel Chen. And uh, he has a beef with Chen because reportedly Chen had posted some kind of a video on social media disrespecting the gang that Jeremy is from which is TRG. Uh, TRG uh, stands for Tiny Rascal Gang. They're pr primarily a Cambodian gang, but I've seen uh, black TRGs, like in this case right here, I've seen white TRGs. Um, they don't discriminate based on race. If you're down with them, they'll let you in. We're gonna, in the future, in a future video, we're gonna go more in depth in the history of TRG. Uh, they're not the, one of the biggest gangs in Southern California, but they're one of the most well-known. So moving along, so he says, nah, I'm cool, go have fun. So later on that day, Jeremy goes back to his homeboys and you know he tells them, hey, there's gonna be a party over on this street right here where I'm at right now. And that dude Daniel's gonna be there and he disrespected the hood. So he's talking to his friends, other members of TRG. They're getting together. And now they're thinking that this party is probably put on by probably one of their biggest rivals, uh, a gang called Asian Boys. Uh, we're going to get into their beef and their history in a later video. So Jeremy's telling everybody, hey, I think the uh, Asian boys are going to be there. So we got to we got to go over there and shoot this place up. So that night he gets together the crew. So there's about 8 guys that are in on this mission and the mission is to light this place up. So you had David Hang Long 19, Kaylin Thick 20, Ryan Sim 18 and Grant Johnson 35 years of age. You also had Chris Williams and Danny Sorn. The getaway driver was one 40 year old Joshua Sam. Everybody in this shooting had a job to do. Now you're gonna have the shooters, David Long, Kalen Thick, and Ryan Sim. Those guys are tasked with shooting. And then you got uh, Joshua Sam, who's gonna be the getaway driver. And then I, I'm thinking that the Williams guy, I don't know if he's the, uh, the hype man or what, but prosecutors in this case uh, claim that, uh, that Jeremy Penn, he's the, he's the leader of this, of, this rep, of this group, right? So they come to this street right here and they're, they're driving in three cars, eight deep. Before they arrive to the party, now this is the part of the story that me personally, I don't know if I would consider this a premeditated murder or not, but Jeremy calls his friend Tim, the one that he had lunch with earlier that day on Facebook Messenger, and he says, hey, um, I just drove by the party, I see a bunch of people outside, tell everybody, uh, or you know, just tell him, you might want to go inside, right? Maybe he says other things, but he's letting his friend know hey, you better tell them to go inside because we're going to light this place up. And he hangs up. So Tim tells Daniel, hey, dude, uh, the TRGs, they passed by the house and now they're claiming that they're going to shoot it up. Now, at this time now, there's maybe 30 people at the party. So there's some people in the house. There's some people outside of the house. So he tells Daniel, hey, you know, this is your pad. This is your family's pad, man. If I were you, you know, I'd, I'd get everybody inside. So 
Daniel tells everybody to go inside and maybe he called 911. Maybe he's thinking about calling 911. I don't know, but he's getting nervous now because he knows that video that he did uh, <laughs> it, disrespecting the TRGs. They don't take too kindly to that. If you're going to do videos on social media disrespecting them, they're going to come after you just like any other gang would. So they all go into the house and they kind of wait. Now, you know, for 20 minutes, people are kind of waiting. Maybe the word is getting out that there's supposed to be a drive-by shooting. I don't know. But after 20 minutes, they don't hear the gunshots. So they figure, okay, well, it must be, it must be okay to come outside. So after about 20 minutes or so, they're thinking that the coast is clear. They're thinking that uh, maybe they were just woofing. Well, they were not. So as the cars circle back, they park somewhere in this neighborhood where we're at right now. So one of the guys yells out, this is TRG, something along those lines. And the shooters, David, Kaylin, and Ryan, they walk through the alley right besides where the best nails is. They go over there and then they just start firing. Blah, 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 blah. You have three guys. Each with a handgun, nine millimeter and a 40 caliber pistol, and they just start dumping on anybody that they see that is outside, right? You're talking about just innocent people, right? Just innocent people. After the shooting stops, you hear a bunch of people screaming and hollering. 911 is called Long Beach Fire Police. The, the cavalry comes out here. And altogether, you had nine people shot, three of them dead 35 year old Melvin Williams, 25 year old Maurice Poe Jr., and 28 year old Ricardo Torres. None of them were members of the Asian Boys. As a matter of fact, at that party, According to the police anyways, investigators, there were no body from their rival at that party. It was just a party that was thrown uh, for people that worked at a particular job. It was just a bunch of co-workers going to a party. But because of that guy, Daniel Chen, who uh, did that video and my, maybe he thought that they wouldn't see it or maybe he thought that uh, they weren't going to do anything about it. Well, they did. Unfortunately, though, three people shot and killed uh, were, uh, were innocent victims in this matter. And one of the people that was shot uh, ended up becoming paralyzed from the chest down. Her name was Jasmine Johnson. I, she, I believe she played basketball for a small college here in the area and uh, paralyzed from the chest down. She'll never walk ever again. It would be roughly almost a year before eventually the detectives for the Long Beach Police Department uh, found out who was responsible for the crime and after conducting at least 15 search warrants and arresting up to a dozen individuals uh they got their uh, they got the people that they wanted so eventually david hang long kaylin thick ryan sim jeremy penn grant johnson chris williams danny sorn and joshua sam were all uh tried for the for this crime now uh, the five, the original five that I mentioned, uh, Long, Thick, Sim, Penn, and Johnson, uh, they went to trial and they were found guilty uh, of three counts of first degree murder. Uh, and they were sentenced to uh, three consecutive life sentences plus hundreds of years in prison. So they're never getting out. Joshua Sam, uh, he turned snitch and testified against uh, the five individuals or the other seven individuals uh, with this crime. 
Now, the other guys, um, Chris Williams and uh, Danny Sorn, uh, they were both sentenced to uh, 19 years and 25 to life. Uh, Sorn was in uh, jail already at the time for another homicide, and I believe uh, Williams was in there for an attempted um, homicide or a shooting, something along those lines. So they got sentenced, and Joshua Sam, uh, he testified for the prosecution, uh, and he cooperated the story that prosecutors felt that they committed this crime. Now, Ryan uh, Sim, he was only 18 years old at the time. This guy actually uh, says in court that he was the lone shooter and that the other guys, they were responsible. He said like, no, uh, the reason why I shot everybody up is because five years ago when I was like 13 years old, uh, I got jumped in that alley. So I just, you know, we were driving by. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember I got beat up in this alley. So I jumped out of the car with several guns and just started shooting uh, kind of like John Wick style, right? Now, of course, they didn't believe him. Uh, Joshua's testimony basically was exactly what happened. So he tried to take the rap for his buddies. It didn't work. And uh, now they're all uh, cooling their heels on ice, so to speak. Uh, can you imagine being 18 years old and, and you're never ever, ever getting out. I don't think uh, a lot of kids realize that when they join gangs, when stuff like this happens and you are uh, facing this kind of time, I don't think you realize that even in 40 years when you're approaching 60, you're still not getting out. Now, listen, things can change. Laws can change. Um, they do uh, often and people don't know about it. So maybe he will get out one day. I highly doubt it because, uh, they got to get parole. And then on top of that, once they get parole, they got to do the hundreds of years on top of that. So yeah, they're, they're never, uh, ever getting out. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, I, I kind of don't understand gangs myself, uh, in some situations. Other times I do, you know, it's a neighborhood you grew up with. Uh, and, uh, TRG is one of the more interesting gangs and in how they came to be because, not to get too deep because I want to save that for a future video. You got a lot of people uh, immigrated from Cambodia. They come here to Long Beach in the 70s and they're getting bullied by a lot of the uh, Mexicans and Central American uh, people uh, beating them up, uh, jumping them. And they already got their own gang. So the Cambodian kids, they're like, okay, well, we're going to make our own gang to defend ourselves against all of the Latinos uh, in high schools and junior highs beating us up. And then that's how you that's how you create a gang and uh you know you start with wanting to protect yourselves and next thing you know somebody shoots at you well you know what you're going to return the favor and you're going to shoot at them more to come about uh that gang and other gangs in this area this is uh long beach of course uh probably the biggest gang in long beach might be the east side longos i'm not really sure uh, i'm not a gang historian but um we'll investigate further in a future video uh, thank you for watching this video. I am out of here. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. By the way, that light was not red. Uh, that was yellow all day long. That was yellow, officer. I swear.